those iPods are flying off store shelves, but we found one company giving them and other electronics away for free. Someone's Jonathan Hall shows us the catch behind this great giveaway. Free iPods, free flat screen TVs, free PCs. Sound too good to be true? Well, two Berkeley students say these are more than just empty promises. It definitely is real. Definitely not a scam. I would bet my life on it. Matt Vogt and John Sauer, just two of the thousands who are logging on to a collection of websites promising great gadgets. It's kind of hard to understand how they're making money on it when it's like a win-win situation for everybody. The company that runs the websites is making money, enough so that they can afford to give away products worth hundreds of dollars. We've given away quite a lot of product, probably between three and four million dollars. They also insist it's not a scam. Their clients pay them to refer you to their websites. They are looking to acquire new customers and we send them lots of new customers and we're paid bounties for that. Bounties that pay for your gift. Definitely uh, sounds a little skeptical at first, but we're 100% legitimate. But let's face it, nothing in life's really for free. So in order to get one of these, you're going to have to give up the numbers on one of these. Your first step to getting a free iPod is completing an online offer. Those can be anything from trial memberships to credit card applications. Most of them require your personal information, including credit card numbers. I made my account at freeipods.com, and then I completed an offer. You also need to refer five of your friends to the website who also need to complete the offer. Once that's done, your iPod will be on its way. Not only do the customers win, they get a free product, but the online advertisers win, they get a potential new customer. Not everyone is thrilled about trading personal information for products. The Better Business Bureau says although the iPod is free, giving up your personal info may be costly. You have to be sure that the information is being used in-house, not given out, not sold, not used um, for other resources. So does all the effort pay off? Well, John did get his free iPod, and Matt's is on the way. There should be a, a free iPod waiting in my mailbox. Matt may have taken a gamble giving out his personal information, but he says the reward is worth a risk. Jonathan Hall, 7 News. All right, Matt got one, and if you'd like more information on how to get your own free iPod, you can visit 7 News online. We're at whdh.com, and once you're there, click on special.